You don't want to mess around over there. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. If you are a returning viewer, thank you. If you are a subscriber, thank you. If you don't want to miss out, you might want to subscribe. I'm doing a redux of a video I did before, The Course of True Love Part 5. And the reason I'm doing it is, after I did Part 5, I would found the Braithwaite secret, which I put in at the tail end of the original video. Now, having played again, I am changing things up a little bit. And I wanted to show that change up a little bit so that you can get a scope of what's going on. And so let's get on with The Course of True Love, Part 5, Redux. Oh, oh, you came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on. Let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters, if God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on, let's go. Of course. The last time I went directly to Rhodes, and now that I know where the Braithwaite secret is, I'm going to take Penelope there and see what happens and make her a little uncomfortable because, well, you know, she deserves it. And Bo's just waiting at the station. This doesn't seem like the right way. <laughs> you don't want to mess around over there. That's my poor cousin. There's no help in her. Believe me, I've tried. This is painful for me. Can we go? <laughs> Want a kiss? <laughs> Something the matter? Mm. Why not? Mm. Kill you! I'll kill you! <laughs> yeah. Oh, Leave her. Yeah. Braithwaite's treated enemies. Now I know how you treat Ken, too. It's a great shame on a family that's shamed already. I told myself she was better off here with family than in a sanatorium, but maybe she isn't. I'll do what I can from Boston for her. And that's a big lie, because you know what's going to happen is nothing. If you return as John, you're going to find her skeleton in the... Um, whatever it is, the uh, outhouse 
And Penelope does absolutely nothing. She's not a wonderful person. There he is. Oh, it's him. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. You came. Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. <sighs> Sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. <clears throat> Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. <sighs> oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey. Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. You want to come back here without giving you a whipping? We should have done this last time. Get on the train, fuck. Go to your woman. Four fists and maybe one brain between you. You're going to get hurt, cowboy. Get him, Scott! Uh, there was nothing. If that is uh, his real name, uh, it doesn't matter. He can fly. Arthur, come on! I don't know which of you is more pathetic. family you've got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off, whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah. Well, how delightful. Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some damn jewels. You must have all the jewels in the state name out of your cousin.
Look! Is that the driver? He's abandoning us! Hold tight, or I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. Damn it, you did run. Remind me to rob your trains, mister. Actually, driving a train is probably the most satisfying part of this whole adventure. It's kind of cool, you know, I mean, you drive the train, I mean, you get to beat people up and shoot them all the time. When do you get to drive a train? Well, this case, you get to drive a train. We stopped. It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives. They would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old... Family heirloom. That brave white treasure. Thank you. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there? Mm yeah. This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! Oh. Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this until arrival. Mm -hmm. On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! And there you have it, mission complete. I made Penelope P. squirm a little bit. She lied a lot. And, well, yeah. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, well, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos a week in regards to video games. And you don't want to miss out. Oh, plus I do some specials and shorts. So, again, you don't want to miss out. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.